Wealth is not to feed our egos but to feed the hungry and to help people help themselves. The greatest astonishment of my life was the discovery that the man who does the work is not the man who gets rich. You are what you think. So just think big, believe big, act big, work big, give big, forgive big, laugh big, love big and live big. No man becomes rich unless he enriches others. There is a power under your control that is greater than poverty, greater than the lack of education, greater than all your fears and superstitions combined. It is the power to take possession of your own mind and direct it to whatever ends you may desire. If you want to be happy, set a goal that commands your thoughts, liberates your energy, and inspires your hopes. A sunny disposition is worth more than fortune. It is more difficult to give money away intelligently than to earn it in the first place. The best time to expand is when no one else dares to take risks. There is no use whatsoever in trying to help people who do not help themselves. Put all your eggs in one basket and then watch that basket. The man who dies rich, dies disgraced. The secret of success lies not in doing your own work, but in recognizing the right man to do it. The more difficult a problem becomes, the more interesting it is. The first thing to do about an obstacle is simply to stand up to it and not complain about it or whine under it but forthrightly attack it. Stand up to your obstacles and do something about them. You will find that they haven't half the strength you think they have. Just stand up to it, that's all, and don't give way under it, and it will finally break. You will break it. Something has to break and it won't be you, it will be the obstacle. There is little success where there is little laughter. Show me a man of average ability but extraordinary desire and I'll show you a winner every time. The older I get the less I listen to what people say and the more I look at what they do. Anything in life worth having is worth working for. The average person puts only 25% of his energy and ability into his work. The world takes off its hat to those who put in more than 50% of their capacity, and stands on its head for those few and far between souls who devote 100%. 90% of all millionaires become so through owning real estate. More money has been made in real estate than in all industrial investments combined. The wise young man or wage earner of today invests his money in real estate. The sole purpose of being rich is to give away money. Give me a man with an average ability but a burning desire to succeed and I will give you a winner in exchange every time. I believe the true road to preeminent success in any line is to make yourself master in that line. I have no faith in the policy of scattering one's resources, and in my experience I have rarely if ever met a man who achieved preeminence in money making. Certainly, never one in manufacturing. Who was interested in many concerns. Success is the power to acquire whatever one demands of life without violating the rights of others. Don't be content with doing only your duty. Do more than your duty. It's the horse that finishes a neck ahead that wins the race. People who are unable to motivate themselves must be content with mediocrity, no matter how impressive their other talents. Teamwork appears most effective if each individual helps others to succeed, increasing the synergy of that team, ideally, every person will contribute different skills to increase the efficiency of the team and develop its unity. 
There is no idol more debasing than the worship of money. Mutual ignorance breeds mutual distrust. Strong men don't compromise, it is said, and principles should never be compromised. The man who acquires the ability to take full possession of his own mind may take possession of anything else to which he is justly entitled. Concentrate your energy, thought and capital exclusively upon the business in which you are engaged. Don't put all your eggs in one basket is all wrong. I tell you put all your eggs in one basket, and then watch that basket. The secret of happiness is renunciation. Young man, make your name worth something. The rare individuals who unselfishly try to serve others have an enormous advantage they have little competition. I am no longer cursed by poverty because I took possession of my own mind, and that mind has yielded me every material thing I want, and much more than I need. But this power of mind is a universal one, available to the humblest person as it is to the greatest. There are two types of people who never achieve very much in their lifetimes. One is the person who won't do what he or she is told to do, and the other is the person who does no more than he or she is told to do. A man's reading program should be as carefully planned as his daily diet, for that too is food, without which he cannot grow mentally. Do not look for approval except for the consciousness of doing your best. Whatever I engage in, I must push inordinately. You develop millionaires the way you mine gold. You expect to move tons of dirt to find an ounce of gold, but you don't go into the mine looking for the dirt you go in looking for the gold. Do your duty and a little more and the future will take care of itself. Think of yourself as on the threshold of unparalleled success. A whole, clear, glorious life lies before you. Achieve. Achieve. Here is the prime condition of success, concentrate your energy, thought and capital exclusively upon the business in which you are engaged. Having begun on one line, resolve to fight it out on that line, to lead in it, adopt every improvement, have the best machinery, and know the most about it. Capitalism is about turning luxuries into necessities. The first man gets the oyster, the second man gets the shell. It is not the rich man's son that the young struggler for advancement has to fear in the race for life, nor his nephew, nor his cousin. Let him look out for the dark horse in the boy who begins by sweeping out the office. Take away my people but leave my factories and soon grass will grow on the factory floors, Take away my factories but leave my people and soon we will have a new and better factory. If thou dost not sow, thou shalt not reap. The man of wealth, should, consider all surplus revenues which come to him simply as trust funds, which he is called upon to administer to produce the most beneficial results for the community, the man of wealth thus becoming the mere trustee and agent for his poorer brethren, bringing to their service his superior wisdom, experience and ability to administer, doing for them better than that they would or could do for themselves. No man will make a great leader who wants to do it all himself or get all the credit for doing it. The men who have succeeded are men who have chosen one line and stuck to it. I spent the first half of my life making money and the second half of my life giving it away to do the most good and the least harm. The man of business knows that only by years of patient, unremitting attention to affairs can he earn his reward, which is the result, not of chance, but of well devised means for the attainment of ends. 
Watch the costs and the profits will take care of themselves. Any person can achieve greatness if they understand the philosophy of success and the steps required to achieve it. Teamwork is the ability to work together toward a common vision. The ability to direct individual accomplishments toward organizational objectives. It is the fuel that allows common people to attain uncommon results. Immense power is acquired by assuring yourself in your secret reveries that you were born to control affairs. The day is not far distant when the man who dies leaving behind him millions of available wealth, which was free for him to administer during life, will pass away unwept, unhonored, and unsung, no matter to what uses he leave the dross which he cannot take with him. Of such as these the public verdict will then be, the man who dies thus rich dies disgraced. Such, in my opinion, is the true gospel concerning wealth, obedience to which is destined someday to solve the problem of the rich and the poor. You cannot push anyone up a ladder unless he be willing to climb a little himself. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.